civilization has turned to dust. Cemeteries show us the real wealth and power wielded by the Kushites. The cemetery at Kerma was in use for over a thousand years. At over half a square mile, its scale is awesome. It is one of the most important cemetery in uh, antique time. It is enormous, with maybe 30,000 graves. Here, the kings of Kush were buried in massive tumuli 100 yards across and capped by conical blocks of white marble. The king's bodies rested in the cemetery's huge funerary temples before being carried out along the processional way for burial. Like the pharaohs, Kushite kings took their wealth to their graves. And plenty of companions, too. When Reisner came here, he found in this passage a lot of sacrificed bodies. Reisner was thinking that it was some Negroes or slaves, but recent anthropological studies show us that it was maybe of the same family of the king. Whether these people went to their deaths willingly remains a mystery. There's no forensic evidence to show they were executed. They seem to have just laid down and awaited a slow death as sand was piled over them. Reisner found many statues and pieces of statue. One was extraordinary, it is Senuit. This statue of an Egyptian noblewoman was just one of the many Egyptian grave goods Reisner found in 1916. He believed such value.